Hey gang, this is Roger Scott. I wanted to talk to you about a very, very important question that I was asked just a few days ago. And I said, hey, you know what? Hmm, it may be a good opportunity to do another video. So the question is how to spot a stock before it explodes higher. Well, it's not an easy answer because there's many, many, many different ways. But all of the ones that I'm going to talk to you today involve technical analysis. There's several fundamental ways, but they take longer to come to fruition. But let me talk about what happens technically. Now, I've been trading for about 25 and a half years now, and I'll give you some really good ideas of how to increase your odds of finding a stock before it explodes higher. And keep something else in mind. In any of these situations, the best way to find a stock before it explodes higher is to find the stock when it's congesting. Now, as I'm speaking, you should be seeing images on your screen. Now, this is a congestion pattern. The longer a stock congests, the longer the stock or anything else you're looking at stays in a congestion sideways pattern, the better the odds that it's going to break out of that and start moving directionally. Conversely, the longer a stock moves directionally, the higher the odds are that it'll start congesting and moving sideways. So these two patterns, congest congestion, excuse me, and momentum, they switch. So what I look, when I'm looking for a stock to begin breaking out, I look for extended congestion. Why? When a stock is congesting, its trading range will be lower, and that means there's less risk, less volatility, less risk, more volatility, more risk, right? Real simple stuff. So congestion, you want tight congestion, but in addition to congestion, there's three, three good, excuse me here. I'm all over the place today. I'm hitting the mic, scratching my nose. I'm just, <laughs> I'm all over the place today. All right. So the first thing you want to look first time you want to find first opportunity to find a really good, uh, position to be in before a stock explodes higher, 52-week breakouts. When stocks are trading near 52-week highs, which is the highest price of the year, they get coverage. They get media coverage, and that's when funds step in and begin buying the stocks. So you definitely want to look for stocks that are making a 52-week price highs. Very important. A, number one, we know a stock is strong because a stock is not going to make a one-year high unless it's really, really strong. That's number one. Number two, typically when a stock is making a one-year high, the sector that it's in is strong as well, or the stock is bucking the sector. Either way, look for stocks making 52-week highs. And every uh, bar chart, uh, stock chart, every service has a button that you press, and it gives you stocks that are today, at any given time, making 52-week highs. So that's number one. The best opportunity is when you see a stock making a 52-week high and then congesting, just moving sideways, like near the 52-week high. Let's say a stock made a 52-week high at $50, and then it fluctuates between $48 and $50, just fluctuates, okay? That's number one. Second opportunity for big, big, big explosive moves. Stocks that are moving down and congesting at or near the 50-day moving average. Simple moving average. Why? Because institutions key off the 50-day moving average. Whenever a stock makes a new high or makes a 52-week high and then backs down and comes to the 50-day moving average, you see a bounce to the upside. Very, very common. You should see some right now as I'm speaking. These are, th this is a stock that's just bouncing off the 50-day moving average. And lastly, range expansions. A range expansion. Whenever you see a range expansion without a lot of movement, especially after a tight congestion, that's a good sign that the stock is going to continue trading higher, especially if the day after it made that range expansion, the stock trades above the, the high. So, for example, if a, tr if a stock trades $2 every day, $48.50, $48.50, $2 range, and then all of a sudden it has a $6 range, look for further breakout. So, again, 50-day highs, 50-day, excuse me, 52-week highs, which is a one-year high, 50-day simple moving average pullbacks, and range expansions. Those are the three times, and congestion. You want to see congestion be prior, preceding the big move. 
the more congestion and tightness you see in the trading range, the better the opportunity that the move that's going to come, the momentum move that's going to come, is going to be explosive, dynamic, and continuous, and not a false breakout. Folks, hopes that help. I, I hope that helps. If you enjoyed these videos, like this channel. If you have any questions or, or want to give me feedback, roger at wealthpress.com. Subscribe to this channel. Talk to you guys soon. Take care.